Right now, I'm going to go over the different types of homes, what they are, how they work, and also give some important information to go along with each one. My name is Drew Smith. I am a licensed loan officer at Mortgage Solutions Financial in Colorado. So first, let's start with the big picture of the overview. What different types of homes are there? You've got detached, attached, condos, townhomes, manufactured, mobile, and modular homes. First, let's talk about the detached home. So a detached home means that it's not attached to any other property. It doesn't share any walls with another home or another unit. It typically owns the land that it is sitting on. It has some property that comes with it. So you might have a front yard and a backyard or a garage that sits on the property. With this type of home, as the homeowner, you are responsible for the property, the property taxes, the maintenance, insurance on the home. So if anything happens, right, if the roof falls off or the, the, the walls fall over, the windows explode or uh, the furnace blows up, you know, those kinds of things, you as the homeowner are responsible for that. I don't know why in this situation this house is just blowing to pieces, but you understand what I'm trying to say. It's that you are responsible for the home and all of the home if anything should go wrong, okay? Now let's talk about attached properties. These are condos and townhomes. They are attached, sharing a wall with another unit. With these types of homes, you still are responsible for property taxes and homeowner's insurance, but typically that homeowner's insurance is going to be less, right? And so are the property taxes. They're gonna be less per year to maintain. And a lot of times, or sometimes when it comes to townhomes and condos, you don't have to insure the whole property. You as the homeowner are responsible for the studs in. Now it really just depends on the unit. This is not legal advice, but anything inside the home is your responsibility. So still the appliances, the uh, any personal property that you have, anything inside of the home studs in, right? So that could also be electrical. Anything within the home you are responsible for. Then typically you have an HOA fee that you pay monthly, and that includes an additional insurance policy in some cases that insures the roof and basically the studs out, right? So everything outside of the home. Um, so it's really unique and individual with each one, and I'm not here to give legal advice. It's going to be in the covenants of that individual property that will tell you what you would be responsible for as the homeowner. So that's something to, keep in mind and consider. Another thing that you want to know about a townhome or a condo is that they typically have that HOA fee that you also have to consider with your monthly payment, right? So you've qualified for the home, you've qualified for the principal and interest, but have you qualified also for that monthly HOA fee that you're going to have to pay every month? Because the lender is going to be looking at that as an obligation to you that you're going to have to pay. So make sure if you're looking to get qualified for a townhome or a condo that you are considering that HOA fee every month as part of your monthly obligations and fees when you're getting qualified for that type of property. Now let's talk about the last three. This is modular, mobile, and manufactured. So first let's talk about the modular home. A modular home is built off of location, put on the bed of a truck, shipped out to the property and put down permanently affixed and considered real property like a detached home at that point. Just like the detached home, the homeowner is responsible for everything to do with that house, property taxes, homeowner's insurance, anything that goes wrong with that property, the homeowner is at liability for, they are responsible for. When it comes to a modular home or a manufactured home, a manufactured home is similar to a modular home. It's going to be built off location, shipped and put down. It can be also permanently affixed and considered real property. Now we have our manufactured and mobile homes. These are considered cars when they first come out of production. Okay, so they are built off site. They have a HUD tag on them from the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development. They, it's basically a VIN number. And then they're put on a truck, they're shipped out to the properties and put down. Now a manufactured home can be permanently affixed to a foundation and considered real property, a physical home. You will then be responsible for anything to do with that home, just like the rest of them. Finally, we have the mobile home. So a mobile home is always gonna be considered a vehicle. It will have that HUD tag on it. Where it is set or placed, a lot of times it keeps the axle and the wheels on it and it's set on center blocks. 
Something else to consider with these are that you might not own the property. So unless you've purchased a piece of property that you are putting this mobile home on, a lot of the parks or places where you put these homes, you have to pay a monthly lease or a monthly payment for the actual land that you are leasing to put your mobile home on. So that's something else unique to consider with that. Of course, you still are going to be responsible for the insurance on the mobile home and anything else inside of that. So there you have it. That's a list and an overview of the different types of homes. So hopefully that better informs you and lets you know a little bit about each one. Because the most important thing as a buyer is education and knowledge. When you know more, you're gonna make better decisions and hopefully those decisions are easier. The end goal is to make a good decision for you and your family. If you have any other questions or wanna follow up on anything that I've discussed, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Drew Smith with Mortgage Solutions Financial.